Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So we're now here in Walker Hill Hotel and there's an ongoing art exhibit. We will be going inside, show you the art exhibition and of course for today's video we are using Discover Soul Pass. So Discover Soul Pass is our free pass wherein we can go to many places here in Seoul for free. You just need to purchase the card for 48 hours, they have 72 hours, and you can unlimited access all the places listed there. They have like 100 plus places. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check this art exhibition. So by the way, for those people who are planning to buy Discover Soul Pass and visit this place, we actually made a mistake because we didn't know that there's a free shuttle bus <laughs> from the train station. But yeah, the good thing about this is that you can check the website and you can ride the bus, the shuttle for free. For your convenience, they actually have the free locker at the back. You can leave your bags there and before you go, hassle free. So we're entering the exhibition now. These are the guides and warnings. Wow, the music is so good. It sounds like a church music. Ah, uh, these are the shows. So 35 minutes, 15 and 7. Let's go inside. So we're here inside the history zone. You will see all the pictures related to the history of this theater. 1966. see here they have all the walls and the floor with the video effect All right, so now we're outside the Theater de Lumiere. I don't know how to say again, but what do you think about the art exhibition? It was really nice to just immerse into the actual artworks themselves, and it was really just breathtaking. It's really good to just absorb the art, but also take lots of pictures because it's really pretty. Yeah, for me, more than the visuals, I like the audio. I think mm. the music uh, set was so good and yeah I think you guys should visit especially if you have the Discover Soul Pass card the DSP it will be very worth it for you to come here and also like you get 
Peace. Yeah. All right, so now we're done with the first sub. We have three subs for today, so let's go to the next one. Hi guys, so we're now in front of the Kungnip Hyundai Misugwan or the National Museum of Modern and Contemporary Arts. Wow, that's very long, but uh, this is near Gyeongbokgung and from the uh, Walker Hill Hotel earlier, we rode the subway and the bus for around one hour and now we're here. So let's see what's inside. So we got the ticket for free because it's uh, Thanksgiving holiday but anyway if you come here on a different day it's going to be free as well for the Discover Soul Pass card. So just buy that DSP and you can visit this place. Alright guys, let's try Salbing ABC Choco Cookie flavor. Mm. Love it. And there's the green tea ice cream. Mm. I think it will blend well with the chocolate flavor. Mmm. Okay guys, we're now here in Namsan Seoul Tower. There's a lot of people now because the weather just became better. So it's a bit cloudy but it's not hot anymore. If you see the previous part of this vlog, I went to the other places with my sister and it was so hot, right? But now you can see, I'll show you the view from here. This is the view right now. It's very cloudy, very windy. And yeah, I actually like this kind of weather <laughs> compared to the previous one. And yeah, it's officially autumn, I guess. So I'll take you to Seoul Tower. You can see it here. And again, this is part of the Discover Seoul Pass. You can visit the observatory for free as long as you have the pass. So. Yeah, this is the place, the observatory from this part. And yeah, let's go to the tower. Just a bit of story time. I've been to Seoul Tower for many times already, but I still like visiting this place since you get to see the view of Seoul. And I think it's one of the first places that I visited when I came here as a tourist last 2014. So yeah, it's definitely one of the recommended places to visit. And you know, I think this place, similar to other places here in Korea, 
it has its own charm depending on which season you visit and for me autumn is really the most beautiful season to visit here so there's this road which is quite steep and you can see at the end of this road we'll finally reach Seoul Tower I'm now here in the Love Locks area and you can see a lot of uh, locks with names of people and I noticed that on this side the locks are pretty new I think they removed the old ones but on the other side you'll see that the locks have a lot of rust already and yeah um, if you don't have the lock when you come here uh, there's the vending machine that I showed in one of the clips so yeah, there are restaurants here as well and you will see there's a cafe there's everything basically to keep you entertained and the best thing about this place is the view you'll see in front of me that's Han River you can also see Lotte Tower yeah so it's like all of Seoul and yeah it's a breathtaking view that I recommend for everyone to check out while I was filming earlier the security guard approached me and he said that I cannot film here. So I don't know why because other people are also filming using their cell phones. So I think maybe they think that I'm a professional, I don't know, like content creator or maybe I'm associated with like a television program or a broadcasting company. But you know, I mean, this is just for my personal vlog or you know my youtube account so i explained to him that it's just my personal video and yeah he went away but it's not the first time when i also went to the um contemporary museum um what you saw in the in the first part of this vlog they also told me that i cannot film inside with the gimbal so i don't know why but anyway um, yeah, it kind of kills my mood <laughs> because now I'm worried that uh, a security officer might approach me. But anyway, um, let's let's go around and um, I'll still show you around Seoul Tower. So if you're using the Discover Seoul Pass, you will be able to go to the observation deck, which is from T4 until T5. You can get your tickets, um, let me check here, yeah, basically when you see this sign, you just need to go downstairs and there's a place here for you to get your uh, tickets, so I'll show it to you as well. There's the robot cleaning this place. So diligent. So 
this is the souvenir shop and yeah, it's I think it's a good place if you want to buy a really good quality souvenir. Oh, this is so cute. This is the key ring. Yeah. Oops, sorry. You guys are not seeing my screen, but this is the strap key ring. They have different colors. They also show us all different messages. Oh, they have ref magnets too here. Ah, this is so cute. <laughs> I like the designs. This one is cute too. So yeah, they have other things. Soju glass, shot glass. <laughs> this is also cute. It says Soul Tower want to buy like bags echo bag it says so I like it looks so neat even caps it's really cute all right guys so that's it for my discover soul pass tour and I hope that you like this video and learned a lot about the places that you should visit when you come to Korea so again uh, please don't forget to check uh, discover Soul Pass. It's a very good way of exploring Seoul and I think that would be beneficial for you since you don't have to buy tickets every time. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching my video and please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye!